Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of Umineko. Yeah, let's just continue the story because it's going to slowly into the episodes that we all know from the chapter one. And yeah, I wonder how the chapter two will go with that. Will we just have the same story but from the different perspectives, or will we have something totally new? Also, in this episode, shout out to Fast! Which in episode 45 just picked up that in 54-14 that Jessica was speaking for every Umineko reader. And when I checked that out, yeah, I can't agree more. <laughs> so thanks and let's go. Let's go, Jessica episode. Apparently today. <laughs> さがされたくねえからこんなところにいるんだぜ。どうせ。<笑> それはまたどうしてでございましょう。親族会議ってのは爺様に連なる so I think of Beatrice as a family, kinda. Actually, let me just check something really fast. Does she have? Yeah, she have the Ushiromiya family crest. Actually, wait. Hold on. This is. Uh, okay. Does she have like the biggest one? Okay, never mind. I was thinking like everyone have just half of the crest and the batteries have the whole thing, but apparently that's not true. Never mind then. そんな親族がおりますでしょうか。ベアトリーチェ様だよ。数字は誰も知らない。あるいは大昔の爺様のアイジンなのか、その子孫がひょっこりと現れて授けた黄金を返せなんて言い出すかもしれないぜ。<笑>クラウス様たちは親方様の遺産問題で今年 どうでしょう。思い出そうにもこの老いぼれ。今朝の朝食すらも思い出せませんので。熊沢さんはいつもそういう言い方で逃げるけど、何か知ってそうなんだよな。知ってて物陰気がドキドキするぜ。でもいい
Okay. So I have some of Rock and Jima backstory actually. この辺は暗証が多くて、こいなん自分が多かったから、領民たちが恐れてむやみに近づかなかったって話だろ。and then Shalom broke it. Sono no Yashiroa, Kononatsu Kuraki Yamio, Hikisaku Murasaki, Rono, Bukimina, Kaminari, which could a carreta took. マサワさんその話好きだな。確かに新婚の社が落雷で亡くなっちまうなんて不気味だが。まあ、元々オンボロだったしな。ちょっと高い波にでもさらわれたんじゃねえのかな。眠りから目覚めた悪事記島の悪
Exactly. The executive, the executive, the executive ordered that the external line be transferred to the secretarial office. At once, the phone in uh, front of uh, Rudolf rang. Mosmosi, hello, hello. Omata se shimashita. Ushiro Mia des. Domo domo. Ikaga des ka sochira wa. Hello, President Ushiro Mia. We are having English voice actors. Never mind, I thought like everything will be in English from this part. I would choose bad news, to be honest, because I want like my last impression from the talk being a good news. <laughs> so I would just get bad news and then being happy with a good news. Good job, Rudolf. You share my mind. Let me know in the comments if you get the choice of good news or bad news, which one would you choose to hear first? ついつい、ルイジした裁判で原告が圧勝する判決が出されました。被告側も当方が主張するのとほぼ同じ内容で論戦していたのですが、全てにおいて却下されました。残念ながら、このまま法廷に臨めば、当方の主張はことごとく却
harsh. Mata shinten gatta ra renraku shite kudasai. Sensei wa kokyu tori da kara yota banashi mo deki ni. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Rodolf hung up the phone. The executives, sin the executives singing, uh, sitting in the reception seats seems to have, a, have guessed at the contents of this discussion. しかし社長渡辺氏の示した和解金の想定額はあまりにも膨大です But I still wonder forgive what Did I miss that information? Maybe I missed that Oh I can go back more I don't know, did I miss that? We might just learn it later, but I feel like my brain stopped working for one or two boxes there. Like at the beginning, I feel like that. I feel like I have like empty head for like one or two boxes at the beginning of this conversation. それだけの余裕はありません。こんなことになるって分かってたら高くかなんて始めんじゃなかったし。I'm not gonna ask you because probably in one or two sentences I will have my answer, <laughs> like usually. If I don't, then you can let me know. さんねんしのげれば資金的危機は脱出できる計算でした。まさかここで刺されるなんて本当についてない。オップステップジャンプのステップで焦げちまったんだもんな。泣けるぜ。メインバンクから金を引っ張るしかありません。銀行はまずいね。連中は勝ち馬にしか金を出さん。景気は上向
are in the plane going to Rokinjima. I don't think that was just a dream. I think that was like generally backstory. But uh, yeah, he just woke up. Probably. The airplane suddenly shook, probably due to turbulence. Rudolf was just at awake. He woke up inly this morning and ended up drifting off to sleep while resting in his seat. まだ大分の忍者ないね。この yeah, about that. When he looked out the window, he said that the airplane had already started to drop in altitude considerably. The fishing boats, uh, which had only looked like uh, black grains a short while ago, were starting to become clearly rec recognizable. <laughs> いちだすくらいもらっときてえところなんだがな。あいす。さもなきゃ。とっとと<笑> Yeah, he don't want to like meet any of you. Oh, we actually have Nanjo arc right now. I mean arc, you know. I would just call these arcs because there's like our short arc for each character, I believe. That explains the like uh, the setup for their characters prior to the events of episode 1 Nanja looked at Kinzo's face sighing uh, Kinzo's eyes remained rooted to a strange book on magic Yep, we know that Again, I think he said exactly the same thing in the episode 1. I think we saw that. <laughs> Nanja shook his head slightly. To him, children and grandchildren were lovely things. He believed watching them grow uh, was the only way to truly enjoy old age. So Kinzo words were very saddening to Nanjo. Okay. When Kinzo raised his face, his gaze pointed at the portrait of the witch, which was respectfully which was respectfully displayed on the wall. Kinzo's mind didn't dwell for a moment on the fact that today was uh, the family conference where all of his beloved relatives would gather. It was filled only by the face of the witch in the old oil painting. He was never accepted... Uh, wait... Who never smiled except inside the portrait. Everybody knew that interrupting Kinzo when he talked about Beatrice would trigger his wrath. Today. They didn't die on the first night, right? It was the second night. Right? I think they spent one night peacefully and then Typhoon started. 
And the second night was terrible. I think... Wait... No. No, wait, they died on the first night. Right? Yeah, it was the first night. Because Typhoon started soon after they entered the Rokinjima. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, Typhoon started uh, when. Uh, before Maria was looking for the Rose. And that was before any deaths. Because Rosa was still there, so yeah, they started on the first, dying on the first. So I think he's talking about the first Twilight and the puzzle. Yep, we learned that much. Nanjo had heard Kinzo say this many times before. You might even call it a pet phrase of Kinzo's. Kinzo apparently believed that magic and miracles could occur if you gamble your own fate with a certain amount of risk and triumphed.研究を尽くした秘術の儀式も魔法に竹の on the one hand, you want that bet, I think. I think that battery is actually revived, maybe. I don't know, that was very vague. But on the other hand, you lost it because you died. So, yeah. どんなギャンブルを始めるなら、あなたの友人としてその賭けに、いや、儀式でしたか。その儀式に、あなたが勝てるよう心から<笑> Ah, much longed for a guest to be present. Well, we have new character in the episode two. It's not actually the same because there's no way that Nanjo is talking about Beatrice right now. There's no way. He's like outside of the family. I mean, he knows about Beatrice, but yeah. Nani? For once, Kinzo reacted to Nanjo words and turned around. Okay, never mind. So, he's just talking about Butler. So, Butler is really important. Is Kinzo really surprised because he just. Uh, realize that there will be enough people for the whole ritual? Ha, mere six years. After hearing Butler's name and making a disappointment, and the other more expansion expression, Kinzo turned his back again. Kinzo san ni tote no rokunen nado. Kono hea de kenkyu ni botto sureba, a toyuma no koto de shokarana. 
本当に懐かしい客はあるいは訪れるかもしれん全てはルーレットの出目次第だすでにルーレットは回り始めているルージュかノワールか Hmm, what do you mean by that? Koyoi, Ruletto ga donna kiseki o misete kureru no ka tanoshimase te morao dewa nai ka. Haito wa oki zo. So shite makeru kiwa senu. Beatrice yo. Waga kake o ukeru ga i. At that time, the telephone on the table rang. A piercing sound seems to irritate Kinzo, and he picked up the receiver to preserve the silence as much as he could. Yep. Kinzo hung up uh, the phone rudely. Looking at that, Nanjo sighted it again and shifted his attention outside the window. As he is now, I doubt Kinzo would pay any heed to any sort of guest. Could any guest possibly make Kinzo come out when the time comes, as he said? Kinzo had a single person in mind, but that was a guest who certainly wouldn't appear. Nanja started at the witch of the portrait, with her impressive ex impassive expression, unable to decide whenever she was smiling or sad, and then gazed up at the lead colored sky. Okay, hello Beatrice. Okay, so we are switching like realities right now. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. So we are switching places. We had that effect like in the last episode, I believe. But now we actually got Beatrice switching. I think like this is the place where Beatrice exists when she's invisible to others. And when she goes outside, then she's in that butterfly forms. Is that a new soundtrack? Or not? So, are all the pieces... Also, I like soundtrack in the Umineko, but I don't want to search for the full soundtrack yet, because sometimes names of the soundtracks can have spoilers, and I want to avoid as much spoilers as I can. So far, I better to avoid every single spoiler, so I have no idea what the hell is going on. But yeah. <laughs> so... So, are all the place pieces in the place? Shall we line them up again and start a new game? Is she talking to the same to the same person as Perncastle, or she's talking to Perncastle? Neil. Mm! Mm! <laughs> It was Butler. It was Butler. So my theory was right. That they were talking to Butler. But why he's in this dimension? Why it all started again and why he's like outside as well? What is going on? <laughs> Will we have like two Butlers at the same time? Is it like some Steinsgate shenanigans? Where like his future self will g 
go to the past and try to fix everything? <sighs> the witch looked at him challengingly, uh, challengingly while elegantly smoking her pipe. And Butler? He just rudely shrugged his shoulders, as if he didn't care what she did. He didn't meet his eyes. But did that didn't mean he didn't intend to challenge her. It showed his clear determination to never be taken in by this bastard's tricks. It was an expression of his determination to fight. What do you mean? How are you going to... How are you going to play this game? This battle of wits? Like... What's going on? I mean, I call this battle of wits. Because this is basically... Like... Butler trying to... Uh... Firstly, get a revenge, I guess, and secondly, prove that Beatrice just have no power and everything can be explained. He don't want to believe in her. What is going on? If this is Butler from future... That means that this, this place? This another realm? It's like outside of timeline entirely and they can like move really. That's crazy. What's going on? Also this is good uh, good thinking that Butler makes here. It's like usually it's better for your opponents to make a start and then you can adapt to it. もちろんそうさせていただくぞ。お前の守りをいかに崩すか。なんてで詰めるか。わらわの腕の見せ所よ。お前がどんな手で来ようが、俺はお前を信じない。Is he mean like him, but uh, from the actual timeline, like you, you know the butler, but that one that exists in the. Orokenjima right now and not himself. Maybe he will be able to manipulate stuff in the Orokenjima like a player on the chessboard. Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe Beatrice like restarted the whole timeline of Rokenjima and this butler just stays here. And they kinda like, you know. I can imagine like chessboard being the Rock and Jima and they can like manipulate stuff each other on the on the island. I'm going like way outside of the possibilities now, but this is like I don't know. <laughs> I'm hyped. Also, yeah, th th that's why I meant like uh this one, I won't believe in you, then he don't mean like, maybe he don't mean like himself, but the butler that on the Rokenjima, so he will move so that the butler on Rokenjima will solve the actual puzzles and not believe in Beatrice in the slightest. So he will win against the Beatrice, not like a butler here who basically lost to her. Because he did. He did lose to her. Everyone dead. Everyone's died. That's what like I assumed in the tea party and the uh, question marks episodes. I mean, it, that was stated like the missing, but yeah, it was like yeah, the pictures were like or bloody and stuff. So yeah. Okay. So, 
ゲームを何度繰り返すかはわらわが決めるぞ。ああ。そしてわらわが勝ち。そなたが負けを認めるまで何度でも繰り返されるぞ。つまりこれは災難みよ。そなたがわらわに屈服するまで続く永遠の災難。ああ。わらわ、魔女の存在を認めるまで永遠に続く。It feels really like having part of Stein's Gate in it and a lot from Higurashi. Well, Hirashi and Umineko are basically the same universe, I think. I mean, actually, yeah, is it the same universe, kind of? Like, you know, like, visual novels, like, uh, Ever 17, for example, that's like part of Infinity uh, universe. Is Higurashi and Umineko basically the same universe? Let me know. I wonder if this is the same universe. Nara, I'll be with you for a while. I'll be with you for a while. Nice. If you're a fan of the Iji no Haria, you're a fan of the Iji no Haria. You're a fan of the Iji no Haria. You're a fan of the Iji. Well, good. Let's go. さあ、始めようではないか。そなたの察しては、すでに知り尽くしておる。手の内を知られた魔物など、高々知れておる。同じ手で忍びきれると思うでないぞ。ベアトリーチェ、一つだけ、最初に言っておくことがある。なんだ